With Website.com, you can quickly and easily create your very own website with no coding experience. In this video, I'll show you how step-by-step -step, to create your own website for your own business with Website.com. Hi everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to create a website for a dentist office using our Website.com web builder. What's great about our dentist templates is that they come preloaded with information and text which you can easily use for your own site. So we'll be starting here from dental.website.com and you can take a look at some of the features that make creating a dental website a breeze. To get started, we'll click create your website today. And from here, we'll choose our theme. You'll notice that we have a selection of themes designed for dental websites and you're sure to find something here that you like. So, how about we go with Dental Clinic. Once you've chosen a theme, you can click the button that says sign up and make your site like this, found in the top right corner. Now you'll be taken to a page where you can register your domain name. We'll be going with Les Plaque Dental since that's the name of our fictional office. You'll see that it is available. Once you've got your domain name, you'll be taken to a page where you can choose your plan and fill out your contact and payment information. I'll do that now. Now we can click create my account now. You'll be taken to this page where you have two links, one to view your website now and one to build your website now. We're going to click build your website now. So we're here now on the web builder and before we can get started building, we're going to go on a quick tour to help us get started. So click this. The first step is to choose a color scheme that fits your website by clicking on design and then color schemes. You can change the colors around on your website and they make up the colors of the different elements. The next step is that you can edit various elements of your page simply by clicking on them. The third is your navigational menu. Your fourth are your undo and redo buttons. The fifth is the publish button, which you'll hit once you're done editing your pages. And finally, we have the need help section over here where you can find our tutorials and our YouTube channel and seeing this tutorial again. So we're now here on the website builder and we can begin customizing our website. Although there is already some placeholder text, we're going to be adding our own to some of the pages. We'll also need to change the name to the name that we chose, which is Les Plaque Dental Clinic. We can do that by clicking on the text box at the top and hitting edit text. And I'll move that down and I'll just type less plaque. And you can see here that we have our text editor and our text editor allows you to manipulate the text and change different elements of the text, such as bolding it, giving it different colors, sizes, and spacings. So we have a little bit of overlap here, so I can simply click and drag this up. There we go. You'll notice that this text box is also surrounded by an orange border and it has an orange globe up here. This means that this element is global and it's found across all of the pages on your website. So you won't need to make this change across all your pages. It's already done for you across all of your pages. I also want to quickly show you how you can add elements. You can add elements by going over here to the sidebar and clicking add. And then you can choose which element you want to add. So say I wanted to add an image, I could click on image and then image and an image would appear on the page that I can move around. I also want to show you how to change the color schemes, which I talked about in the tutorial at the beginning. The color schemes make up the different colors of your website. So you can go ahead and click on these and see how they change the colors of your website. Color schemes are the easiest way to make a change on your website. They give your website a new flavor. And each color scheme is picked by our website.com web designers, so they're guaranteed to look good. Next, we can change this image here. To do that, we can click on the image and hit in the button that says change style. And in this panel box, we'll click on change image. Now I'm going to be selecting an image from our vast selection of stock images. So I can click on that there. And I'll just quickly find one. That looks good. I've chosen an image of a woman smiling. 
And I'll also be adding a parallax effect to this image. So if I go here to the panel box and click parallax effect, the parallax effect gives the illusion that the background is moving slower than the foreground. So you'll notice if I scroll down, the background looks like it's moving slower. Finally, for the home page, we'll replace this block of text here with our own content. So I'll simply be copying and pasting in our own content that I have on an external source. So I can click on this text box and click edit text. And then I'm gonna highlight all of this text. And then I'll go to my external source and copy in my own content. And I'll also make a few changes using the text editor. That looks good. Now we can move on to the services page. So to move pages, go to the top left and click on this section where it says pages here. And then I'll click on our services. On this page, you'll see that we have another image here, as well as some text right here. Firstly, we'll be changing this image by uploading our own image. So I can click on this image and choose change image. And instead of choosing our stock images, I'm gonna click drop files here or click to upload. And I have an image here. So I'll click on use image. And it's a little bit zoomed up, so in this menu, I'll choose pan and zoom, and I'll just zoom it out a little bit. And I'll move it around. That looks good. Now, like the home page, we'll be copying and pasting in our own content here. So I can click on this, and I'll click edit text. And I'll highlight all of the text found in this section. And then I'll simply copy and paste in my text from my external source. Excellent, but you'll see that we have too much space now on the page. So to change that, we can scroll down and on this arrow here that says content, we can click and drag it up to reduce the size of our content section. And I'll change the size of our text box as well. So now we've reduced the size of our text box and reduced the size of our content section. It's also easy to add a video to your website. So I can just go to the add section of the sidebar and click on audio and video. And then I'm gonna click video link. And you'll see that a video appears right here on my cursor. So I'll drag this down and I'll move this right here. To change the video of a video link, you can click on it and choose change video in this menu. And in the panel box, paste in our own URL from a YouTube, Vimeo, or Dailymotion link. So I've done that and you can see our website.com video now appears there. You can also add a custom HTML widget to your page. To do that, go to the add section and choose custom HTML. You'll see that this is on my cursor right here. So how about I move this right there? To change what's displayed in the custom HTML, you can click on it and choose edit HTML code. So you can find your own HTML code that you will be pasting in this section of the panel box and it will appear as the custom HTML widget here on your screen. For security purposes, it won't appear on the preview mode or the editor, but when you go to publish your website, it will show up. The next thing we can do is create a blog page. To add a page, we'll go to the pages section of the sidebar and choose add page. In the category section here, we're gonna choose blog. And for the name, we'll make it blog. A blog is great for getting connected with your potential and existing customers. And with website.com, we offer a powerful blog app that is already built in. So you don't need to install a third party blog. The URLs of the blog title are also SEO friendly. It contains the title of the post, so the title can give both your readers and the search engine a good idea of what the article is. Also, we allow you to add some social networking settings for your blog, which are great for getting good exposure. So on this blog page, we'll be adding a new blog entry. To do that, click on new blog entry. And we'll change our title to welcome to Les Plaque Dental. And we have content that we can just simply copy and paste in from an external source. And once you're done with that, you can click save. Great. Now we'll head to the contact page. So up here in the pages, choose contact us. On this page, you'll see that we have a web form and a Google Maps app. 
To change the location displayed on the Google Maps app, you can click on it and choose Settings. Here, you can input your own address. And once you've done that, it will display the correct location on the Google Maps app. I'll also change the title here. Now we'll also be adding a CAPTCHA to this web form right here for added security purposes. So to do that, click on the form and click Form Settings. And in this menu, choose the Security tab and go Yes, Protect Form with CAPTCHA and press Done. And you'll see we now have a CAPTCHA here. The last thing I'm going to be doing is changing our Services page for mobile. So I'll go back to our Services page. And to access the mobile editor, you can go up here to the top left and choose this button that looks like a mobile phone. The mobile editor allows you to customize the elements of your page so that they fit properly on a mobile screen. So I'll do that now. You can see that we have some overlap here. So I'll click and drag and move this video down and decrease the size of it so it fits on the screen. I'll also move this custom HTML widget down below the video. I'm also going to decrease the size of the text box. And that brings up the content section. So now you can see that we have no overlap on our services page for mobile. And that's it. I've shown you how easy it is to take one of our pre-existing dental templates and make it your own by pasting in your own content and changing the images around. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us or check out our YouTube tutorials for more step-by-step -step videos. Thanks for watching.